Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a new notebook and note in Evernote for Mac. Alright, so at this point, we are in the Evernote client for Mac. We've created our Evernote account and we've downloaded the, the software for our Mac and set that up and we've we've logged in. So now we're we're looking at our Evernote through the Mac client. So to create a new notebook, well first let's just take a look at the, the screen to see what we have. So over on the left hand side we have our uh, be similar to our, our navigation. You click on notebooks to see the, the different notebooks that you have. You can click on notes to see any individual notes. Uh, there's tags, so whatever words you've used to um, add to your notes and your notebooks to, to help you organize them. Uh, you'll see your tags here. Atlas uh, just tells you uh, where these notebooks were created. You've got your trash, anything that was thrown away. So right now let's create a new notebook in Mac. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to our menu and we're going to say file. And we're going to go down to new notebook. And we will say synchronized notebook. So what this means is this is a note that uh, it's going to be uh, stored in the cloud on Evernote and you're going to be able to share it with other people. You're also going to be able to um, access it with your other devices that uh, you have Evernote, like a, a phone or a tablet. So uh, we'll, we'll name it. It says this one's taken already. OK, so we name it. And then it asks us, is this a, a private notebook or a shared notebook? If it's private, it means you're just it's just going to be your notebook. You're going to be the only one that's going to be able to see it. But in this case, we're selecting shared because we want to share it with someone else. So what you'll put in here is you'll put my email address, mtstone at cityu.edu. So you'll put that address in there. Uh, since I'm signed in with that account, it's not going to give me the options as far as what you'll see. But uh, just you know, put my address in there, and then you'll see it down here. I've put a different email address in here. But what it does is, at that point, it lets you decide what the permissions are. So they can either uh, edit and invite others, they can edit, or they can view. And then you select Create. And now you see right down here, we have the notebook that we just created. So to add a note to that notebook, click in it. You can see that it's it's empty right now. If we had notes in it, you would see notes in this middle column. So we're going to go up to our menu bar. We're going to go to File. You can select New Note right here. Here are some of the, the different notes that you can choose. You can choose a, a new FaceTime camera note. You can choose an audio note if you want to, to record something. I'm just going to say new note. So we're selecting that. And you see we have a new note here. It's untitled. Over on the right hand column here, this is the, the actual note. So we'll just put a title in there. And then you would type your the content of your note down here. And similar to other word processing programs, if you want to make changes to the, the text, you would just select it first. Then up here in the, the formatting bar across the top, you can see the different options. You can choose different fonts. You can choose different font sizes. Uh, you've got different formatting options here, bold, italic, underline, font color. Choose blue. You can underline it. You've got bullets if you want. You've got the checkbox if you want to make a list of things and, and check them. If you want to attach items to to this note, there's a little 
menu expansion here you click on that you can uh, take a picture a snapshot and attach that you can attach a file just as you would uh, attaching a file to an email same thing click here and then search on your computer for the, the file and then there's the Google Drive so if you want to attach a file that you have in Google Drive you can uh, select that so that is how we create a notebook a new notebook that's how we create a note inside of that notebook if you want to add tags and click up here where it says click to add tags these are no these are uh, words that you make up so these are words that you would use down the road to search for this notebook or this note so we could say EA 520 select enter there's one tag we can type another one so you just you pick these words that you think you'll use to either organize these notes in the notebook or you'll you'll, you'll search on them down the road and then you uh, just type that word in hit enter and that creates a new tag so that's how you add tags so you can also set up uh, reminders if there's an alert you need to be reminded to, to take action on something in this note you would select this and then select add date we'll choose tomorrow's date and so now we have a reminder to notify us tomorrow all right, so that's how you create a notebook and a note. When you created the, the notebook, that gave you the option to share it right there. So you were able to choose who you wanted to, to share the notebook with. But say you down the road, you want to share it with some other people uh, that you didn't initially share it with. You would just go to your notebook. And when you mouse over it, you'll see that there's this little icon. If you select that, it then lets you uh, determine who else you want to share it with. So you would make sure that the little button next to a shared is selected and then you would type in the person's email address and you would choose what their uh, privileges are as far as being able to make changes to the notebook and edit it and then you would select done and that'll send an invitation to uh, the person that, uh, that you're sharing the notebook with. Okay, so that is how we create a new, a new notebook and note on a Mac, and then also how we share that Evernote notebook uh, using the, the Mac client for Evernote. All right, hope that's helped. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you.